Hi, welcome to the Cadman Power Equipment and Ranking Manufacturing 2021 Virtual Open House. My name is Mark Smith, and I'm the Ontario Rep for Cadman Power Equipment and Ranking Manufacturing. Because of COVID-19 restrictions, we're not able to have our live open house, so we've chosen this virtual option to discuss Ranking Pivot Systems with you, and we hope you enjoy it. Basically, what we're going to do is we have a slideshow to go through. You'll see some options and we'll talk about some of the differences and pluses and minuses of pivot systems as well. we'll at the end of it, discuss uh, winterization packages that we're offering and um, some uh, sprinkler lube you know, uh, discussions there as well. So first up is our Electrogator Pivot 2 features. This is the pivot center point. Um, one of the pluses that you can see, you know, we have the obviously the stress relieving pivot flex joint at the top. Um, each pivot joint is covered by the rubberized sleeve boot and has clamps on top of it to allow first off of the system to flex, you know, up to 45 degrees with each, you know, uh, system there. Um, one of the biggest points that you'll find with the ranking systems is options like the aluminum corrosion resistant collector reel at the top. That's where all the wires are gathered up and send signals out to the spans going further out to the end gun. But it also allows us a weather resistant and protective environment for all your electronics. Down at the bottom there, a main control panel, you'll see that it's corrosion resistant, outer coated end. Of course, can be adjusted at any height. But what it's there, it's an enclosed environment for any of your panels, whether it's a standard panel, advanced plus, or touchscreen you know, it's protected against the environments. One of the biggest things that you'll find is that uh, with Ranky, we use a roll form C-channel galvanized leg. So it's a structure that offers an additional strength. It's, uh, you know, there's a whole discussion about, you know, the bolt system that's at the bottom there, which, you know, offers more stability and function, plus a smaller pivot pad, a nine by nine pivot pad is all that's required. And we offer instructions and uh, you know uh, detailed uh, blueprints on how to put that through. Moving out to the tower design, here's where a few of the innovations that Ranky uh, really enjoys come to light. The single leg tower design is is one of the ideas where you know we'll discuss weight and compaction a little bit later in the slideshow. But for this one here, one of the criticisms is that the the single leg design, you know, offers you know a too light of a system and not enough strength and durability. But again, using the uh, heavy gauge steel that we do for the, the the galvanized legs and the roll form C channel design, it offers quite a bit of strength. We actually feel that it's I believe the estimation is 25% stronger for um, against our competitors. In addition to it, you know, without having a wider, more obtrusive leg structure. It uh, is less uh, destructive to your crops. So as it's going through your corn or whatever you know, um, crops that you've got there, you know, a single leg is will damage the the product less than that. Um, another option that will go into greater detail. You see at the top middle there the V ring seal. That's a Ranky patented design where it's a rubberized gasket that's actually enclosed inside the tube connections of the flanges. With that, you know, again, you know, the biggest point is that it's a it's a rubberized gasket that's not exposed to the elements. Therefore, you know, we're able to offer a 25 year warranty on that product. Certain options that you're going to see here, and we'll talk later on in, in greater detail, is our um, high efficiency helical gears in the mid there, the center drives, the wheel gears. Each of those are specific to Ranky as well. And certain options that, you know, I'm sure are, are common for most pivots, but, uh, you know, right comes standard with Ranky pivots are the stairs that allow you to service the gearbox up at the top of the, you know, having to bring a ladder out to the field every time. For certain field options, obviously it's a dollars per acre type of discussion when you're looking at a pivot. You have to be able to rationalize the cost. You know, a pivot system can be quite expensive. And so you need to make sure you're covering the you know, devil's share of the largest portion of your field. Um, in some options for smaller applications, you know, like if you have a smaller rectangular field where 
a pivot could be moved. So we can put a smaller circle into that area and then tow it down to the farther end. So what you do is take a smaller 24 by 24 inch pivot pad um, instead of the big nine foot one. And here you see two options for a towable pivot. Up at the top is a four wheel pivot mover. Um, this one here basically allows it, it it's, it's almost like a four wheel cart where you can see the toe end there has a turnable tire system. Um, sharper turns, you know, stuff like that. If you were to be bringing it around the field in more of a, you know, uh, uh, rotating type of function, I'm not sure if that sounds correct, but, you know, if you're going to be moving around in multiple directions, then that's the, the pivot center for you. Um, in a more of a linear, uh, straight ahead type of fold, we have the quick, uh, two wheel quick tow at the bottom there. Um, that can be towed from either end. Uh, it doesn't need always to be towed from the pivot base. And what you do there is quite simply move it in a straight line to your next pivot pad and then back and forth that way. So again, very versatile for a smaller system where uh, in a rectangular shaped field, it may be, you know, uh, one of the options that uh, you choose. Now we're discussing the Renke V-ring seal that we saw in the span earlier. Um, again, a patented V-ring seal. It basically there is one of the options that it, it reduces the amount of friction loss, you know, throughout the system, you know, which the friction loss in a six and five eighths inch pipe may not be, you know, incredible with some of the other ones, but every, you know, pound of pressure that you're losing is, is something that to, you know, will affect the size of the pump and the, the amount of flow that we need to put through the system. You know, pivots run at a lower pressure rating than, than most. It's a volume-based system. So again, a six and five eighths system around, you know, a thousand feet would, you know, be well under 60 PSI at the inlet pipe and run, you know, somewhere around an average of, you know, 700 to, eight, or 700 to 900 gallons per minute. So as you reduce friction through that line, that's very important, and that's one of these things these V-ring gaskets or V-ring seals you know, offer us. As you can see, as I discussed before, the V-ring, the gasket itself is inside the pipe. So as you look to the the uh, demonstrations on the uh, on the, the pictures on the right, you can see that the flange connection doesn't have any of the uh, rubberized gasket exposed. In this case, you were able to offer a 25-year warranty which far exceeds you know that of our competitors and what we find there is because there is no weather elements it's not drying out in the sun it's not exposed to you know any type of you know elements it uh, basically never needs replacing and you know and again with the 25 year warranty that's something that we can uh, work with you if it does the flex joint hook and receiver this again is another patent innovation by Ranky. So this would normally be covered by a boot sleeve, and I believe I pointed that rubberized sleeve and clamp system out on the first slide. What this does here is allows our pivots to work on a 40, up to a 45 degree angle of rotation. So as your field, your pivot is, you know, maybe undulating through whether it's going over berms or, you know, bridges or whatever the case may be, it's not a rigid structure. You know, what this allows it to do is float through this hook and receiver system. So it's quite honestly allowed to, to flex either side to side, you know, to correct for alignment issues, you know, vertically or horizontally. And what we find that, that does is create quite a, uh, a reduced amount of friction on the system itself. So similar to having, you know, if you had a rigid structure, it would cause stress and strain. This one's allowed to, you know, uh, to have a bit of give. And it really, really uh, helps us out for, um, again, for angles and, and uh, rise and falls in the fields. We discussed the drivetrain system, so center drives, the couplers, and the wheel and the gearboxes here. You know, there's a lot of information here. Basically, there's uh, high efficiency and mid efficiency drives. Again, it depends on the length of the system. One of the most important parts that we can discuss about Ranky pivots is that it's customized. There are no, you know, cookie cutter off the shelf type of pivots. You know, when we come out to your field, you know, we, we measure, we can do a, a, you know, sorry, type of a Google Earth type of mapping system where we, you know, take an estimation of, you know, okay, we can fit a thousand foot pivot into your field and cover approximately 80 acres. That's done with our, you know, RDP ranking design pro system and that's very efficient. 
Um, when we actually get down to the point of putting a system into your field, I'll come out with our handheld GPS. And what that does is offer us a much more accurate uh, you know, uh, look at your field. Um, not only does it bring us to the nth degree of measurement, so I can, you know, then walk around and allow our systems allow, you know, variance of off the field, say approximately 10 to 15 feet, whatever your preference, um, enough to cover with sprinkler heads as well. But once we measure with the uh, uh, handheld GPS, the walk in the field and doing that type of uh, check there as well also allows me to look for obstacles. You know, there's a lot of things that I've come across that, weren't picked up on drains. You know, you may have a new pond system. The trees may have you know, moved a, a, a certain distance. Um, perhaps there's a, a well or a, you know, even, uh, you know, if you have your own uh, uh, risers out in the field, you know, we can mark those type of obstacles for either the towers or the wheels so that it's not an obstacle for the pivot. Um, in one case, I, I, you know, we've often seen where the farmer had had a quote from uh, someone and it didn't account for the new position of the uh, pond that he had put in. So that was something that our field walk had enabled us to identify earlier. Uh, we'll talk a little bit later about sprinkler lubes. And one of the nice things about the sprinkler lube is they partnered with Ranky Manufacturing to um, offer a what uh, the company feels is a better product for lubricating these systems. And the, you can ask me about it uh, in greater detail, but it actually extends the drivetrain and uh, coupler uh, gearbox warranties if you're using the sprinkler loop products. Gaining strength does not mean adding weight. What do I mean by that? One of the biggest criticisms against a Reiki system is that we're too light. You know, and identifying the elephant in the room, yes, Reiki systems weigh less than our competitors. Um, to read it verbatim, when it comes to strength, the high strength steel used in a Reiki system is stronger than heavier materials used to make, you know, in an attempt to make the competitive system stronger. We don't feel we need the brick outhouse to, you know, make a pivot stronger. We use a stronger gauge steel, a lighter system, and what that does is offer us the following benefits of less soil compaction, so we're not going to rut your fields as much. As well, when you talk about system flotation, that's important and that's where we'll talk about tire sizes in a moment here but as well if your system weighs you know a three thousand pounds lighter than you know your neighbors you're also going to have less uh, reduced wear on your uh, uh you're going to reduce your wear on the system's drive train it's not trying as hard to push it through so if you have a heavier soil or a wet or a low part you know perhaps you you're climbing some of those hills that we're talking about then you know, it's obviously, it's like anything else. It's, you know, if you're lighter, it's going to be easier to move the pivot along. Talking about weight again, compaction is huge in the fields, isn't it? You know what I mean? Compaction can lead to, you know, some issues with disease. It can cause, you know, problems with planting. It's a, there's a whole discussion about, you know, reducing compaction in your fields. Um, again, we've talked about additional stress in the structures. Um, slip and slushes, uh, alignment issues, um, a pivot itself, if it gets stuck in a rut, you know, where it'll actually take itself out of alignment and cause an error, which could be ongoing if you have a, a wet spot or a shallow that you're not uh, you know, um, um, dealing with. We talked about the driveline components, the excess wear on that, which then factors into service calls and additional expenses. So quite honestly, you know, the bottom points are some of the more important ones as well where increased downtime is increased expense. You want to be watering, you don't want to be fixing your pivot because it was, you know, stuck and, and brought itself into troubles. Here we've got a little chart which uh, basically what it shows here is that in a lot of cases, if you're going to be running six to 700 gallons per minute, and you know, again, you know, the system depends on the length. I mean, I can't get a, you know, a thousand gallons through a, through a four and a half inch system you know, and even a six inch system might be tougher, but you can see the two comparisons here. In the yellow, the weights on the right hand side are the six and five eighths inch pipe. And I'm not sure if my, let me move my problem there. Oh, sorry about that. But on the right hand side there, you can see in yellow, the six and five eighths inch pipe weights. And then um, these are, now these are using 1122 or 11.224 tires. 
but the comparison below is the six inch water pipe in blue. So in many of the systems that I design, if the water you know, uh, volume itself accepts the smaller pipe, look at the difference at the top. On a 118 foot span, we're approximately, well, we'll say an estimated you know, 500, 450 pounds lighter just on that one span. So again, it, first off, it makes it more efficient. You know what I mean? You know, if you're you're not trying to pump uh, that much volume through, you're you're wasting more water by by putting it through a larger pipe. Um, we can also work at one of the things to reduce the tracking is is the shorter spans. I think the commonality is that by covering the most distance, so by putting a 194 with a six inch system, we can go 213 feet. By going that much further out. Um, I need to put the bigger spans on them to save money, but that's not always the case. I mean, certainly your, your, your dollars per donuts on a, on a larger span, you know, would, would help. But if you're putting that much weight and that much stress into your field, that may not be your best option. So we'll talk again in a moment here about tire sizes. So here's our tire options. I mean, one of the things that we can look at is the range of tires. Typically, a standard tire that I'll put on is a 14, 9, 24. I like those for, you know, they seem to be vers very versatile. A lot of the spans, a lot of the weights, they, you know, the larger tire you would think would cause more damage, but it actually increases the flotation and, you know, reduces the compaction in your field. Um, an important note to see if you happen to be, uh, you know, it says something like a sod farm or you, know, you, you have a turf type of application, we do offer that tire, which is beside it. So one of the biggest choices, again, is the span length, the span sizes, the system size. You know, there's a lot of considerations when choosing the tires. And I think a lot of times it's overlooked because, you know, some companies may feel there's a standard fit. This will work. Well, yes, 100%. This will work is an option that, you know, a lot of times we're put in front of us, but what will work best is often, you know, an issue that or a, a topic that needs to be discussed. Down here in the bottom just popped up. Now, one of those things is the three inch penetrations per square inch. And here you can see some of the weights and differences between the tire sizes. Warranties. What's a, what's a warranty on a company? I mean, it's you know, you would think that the pivot system, I mean, there's, I don't know any, you know, exact durations. I mean, I would hope that, a, you know, a system would last for, you know, a lifetime. You know, sometimes that's the case. Um, one of the things that's important when we first design a system is depending on the type of water you use, we can actually test your water for acidity and corrosion because if you have a highly acidic water, you don't necessarily want to put a galvanized pipe in your system because, uh, galvanized, you know, coatings can be eaten away by a highly acidic water. It can then, you know, reduce the lifespan of the, the pipe itself. Um, so there are also, there's types of, you know, the aluminum systems, which offer, you know, weight reductions as well. There's, uh, you know, chromium nickel painted, you know, types of pipes, which, you know, if you have a, a more of a uh, corrosive water, we can put that in there. But to go through your system here, one of the things we talked about is the V-ring seal having a 25 year warranty, the span joints of the wood, water boots, uh, 10 years, structural fail due to corrosion. So again, once we've chosen the correct, uh, um, you know, pipe, uh, you know, uh, type, whether it's a poly line for excessively corrosive water, chromium nickels, stainless steel, aluminum, that one is chosen for 20 years of warranty. You know, one of the things that I can say, you know, with confidence is that Ranky either matches or exceeds the warranties of our competitors. And that's not a boast, that's an actual fact. When you look at our drive gears, you know, again, you see that 90% of them are, are 10 years or a six on a moderate duty. Center drives are eight. Now structural components are five. And even our panels, which see daily use, you know, can and, you know, are, are um, you know, uh, one of these electronics and systems that could fail, you know, easily, we offer a, a five-year system of warranty on that, which again is, is exceptional for the industry. So what we're asking, it says, why buy a Ranky pivot? A lot of them are the same. Well, they can say you can thank Richard Ranky for that, you know, with a lot of his patents and innovations that he started back in the 60s. 
you know, that, uh, that may be true. In structure and design, you know, that's where we start to differentiate. We've talked about a few of the differences there. So I can say that one of the things is that, you know, the pivots are built last long, a lot, to last longer and are backed by industry-leading warranties. That's important. When you put a, a system in there, you put out the money to, to pay for irrigating your system, you don't want to find out that first off, Oh, you know, uh, I don't, I'm not back for this, or hope oh, it was only a two-year warranty or some of this. Um, again, very, you know, the the double-walled, uh, or sorry, the double-walled tower box, the B-ring seals, the single-leg tower designs, all of these are patented, uh, you know, innovations which are designed to exceed your expectations and help us, you know, increase reliability and performance in your field. One of the problems, or one of the, 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 the problems that a lot of people say is, you know, competitive value and yield boosting design. What does that mean? Well, for that, basically, again, I talked about dollars per acres. You want to make it a cost-effective system that you put into the field. You want to make sure that you have, you know, something that's, you know, covering the amount of, you know, acres that you want and not costing you an arm and leg to do so. And for that, you know, one of the things that we work with you, one of the designs, you know, we work with you on certain things, whether it's a drop span that we can add, a wrap span we can put in, which will, you know, cover uh, going around structures, a lot of versatility, a very customized system. Um, backing, you know, being backed by two family-owned uh, companies, um, I have here that uh, Cabin Power Equipment's now been in operation for 69 years. I believe next year, as I understand from uh, uh, management that, We'll be celebrating 70 years in business. Reiki, I have it 67 years worth of business. And that's incredible to think that, you know, two companies have been doing business for that long, you know, obviously means that we're doing something right. If we were dealing with, you know, you know, shoddy workmanship and shoddy products and didn't stand behind our, our pivots and our products, you know, whether it's a Cadman Real or, or a pivot uh, from Reiki, that's one of those things that we can actually say, you know, is important to us. You know, we stand by our reputation, we stand by our products. Cabinet Power Equipment is a diamond certified dealer. That's a, one of the highest status I believe we can get with, with uh, ranking manufacturing, and we're very proud of that. There's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, qualifications and uh, certifications that we need to go through to maintain that. And it's important to us to represent, you know, Ranky at the highest level and certainly the highest standards we can. In doing that, we have on-site trained and platinum certified ranking technicians. So we've established a ranking pivot team, which is fantastic. So we have trained individuals that will come to your field, you know, start uh, the pivot design, or not the pivot design, the pivot construction, and right to the end of a system alignment and water test, they're there to help you out and make sure that your pivot's working uh, well. Platinum certification is the highest level of certification that a Frankie Tech can go through and we have I believe at this point two with what a third person on the way so that's incredible as well that the um, not only are we standing behind our products but are on a high level of you know dealer certification but as well our service team they're not new it's not their first time and we're really really proud of the team that uh, will go that type of uh, you know again that certification So to close, one of the things we like is, you know, you can see our two logos up there. Quality, service, and innovation, strength, simplicity, and dependability. Cadman products, you know, have, uh, have shown the, uh, proved the test of time, and certainly Ranky will do the same for you. Um, one of the things that I need to discuss and would like to make sure you're aware of is we've talked about the sprinkler lube. There are two types of sprinkler lube, one for the center drive and one for the wheel gears. And again, when you look at here, there is a discussion I can get into where they will say that basically by extending the um, use of your gears, you're actually working to save some money on your annual costs. There's a comparison on the chart here as well. And as I mentioned before, you know, give me a call and I'd love to discuss how it can extend your ranking warranties. And having said that, one of the things that I'll discuss with you as well, um, feel free to give me a call is our winterization packages. Um, one of the things that, you know, a lot of people do is they park the pivot and they leave it and then come back and, you know, when you're looking to irrigate in the spring, they run into issues. So you can see some of the uh, options that we're offering. 
you know, again, it's uh, what you quote it based on your uh, uh, customer interest. But it's everything from flushing the system to make sure that the there's no uh, solids in the in the line, checking for worn or broken components. Maybe you had a sprinkler that somebody hooked with a tractor as they went underneath it. You know, maybe there's a cracked boot or you had a, a, a leaky you know, center drive. All these things can be looked looked at and certainly dealt with initially. Right down to the very point of parking the pivot in the correct position. If you've got an easterly wind, you know, you don't necessarily want to be parking it so that the pivot will take the brunt of it. Maybe you park it aligned with the system there. So I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. I you know, appreciate everyone for, I know it's a tough time for us during COVID, but I look forward to seeing you next year at our 70th. I believe we've got quite a uh, gala plan for that. And please give me a call at any time. I'd love to talk to more of you about uh, ranking products. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. My name is Sheldon Alt with CropX Crop Metrics, and uh, I want to say thank you so much to Cadman Power for having me here for their virtual grower meeting uh, this year for 2021. Obviously, we'd like to be there in person, uh, and hopefully someday I can meet uh, meet a lot of you producers and also um, meet Cadman Power as well. So, uh, sorry we're having to do this virtual, but um, it is what it is, right? So uh, once again, my name is Sheldon Alt with CropX Crop Metrics, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about taking your irrigation game to the next level, and and what that means for you on your farm, as well as what it can mean for profitability, as well. So thanks again, Cadman Power, for having me here today. I really do appreciate it. Um, I think it's really important to reflect on where you've been, whether in your personal life or your professional career. So I want to give you a little bit of background about CropX, crop metrics, uh, and where we've been and, and where we are today. So crop metrics was founded back in 2009, and we actually started on the farm. Our founder, Nick Emanuel, uh, is a producer out in Nebraska, and he farms with his uncle and father, and it's all irrigated out there. He farms all irrigated um, acres. And after he returned from college, um, he started getting more and more involved with the, with the farming operation there. <clears throat> and he wasn't really just happy with some of the performance that his fields were showing him. Whether he tried variable rate seeding, variable rate fertilizer, uh, tried a bunch of different things, he still always saw some areas in certain fields that were not performing the way he thought they should. Um, so he started looking at some, some soil type maps. Uh, one of the soil type maps he was looking at is a EM soil map that shows the heavier soils in the blue and green and the lighter or sandier soils in the, in the red areas and kind of the yellow areas. And what he noticed is there was a correlation between the heavier and sandier soils with a lot of the aerial imagery that he was looking at, ultimately yield map uh, information as well. So if you look here on the soil map, on the heavier soils correlate extremely well with the poorer spots on this uh, NDVI aerial map here. Um, and that wasn't really related to seed, it wasn't related to fertilizer, that was strictly related to water. Uh, he was watering the whole field the same, where maybe his heavier spots of the field maybe needed a little bit less water. Um, so he actually, Nick Emanuel was the first guy that started messing around with variable rate irrigation. And he actually made his very first um, software platform that was farmer first focused that could help growers put out different amounts of water in different parts of the field, ultimately uh, lowering that yield loss there. And from there, he started messing with some soil moisture sensors as well. Um, and today that brings us to, to where we are today where we've got uh, soil moisture sensors, we've got rain gauges, we've got uh, variable rate irrigation, all built in a mobile app platform. So we've really come a long way um, from, from where we started in 2009. So we've been doing this for a while, uh, but why am I here today to talk to you? Well, we, uh, CropX, CropMetrics recently partnered with Rinky Manufacturing, and it actually makes a, a really good, uh, really good sense because you've got Rinky making really good center pivots and, and quality hardware. And then you've got CropX, CropMetrics here <clears throat> that's kind of bringing in some of the agronomic uh, side of precision irrigation. And also, you know, 
Cadman Power, your local rink irrigation dealer. So um, it all makes sense, really. It really makes sense. So I want to share with you, you know, basically in a nutshell, what precision irrigation is and, and how we kind of got started with it. So um, first, let's talk about you know, underwatering of a crop. Um, that's not good. I'm sure some of you producers have seen this before, but um, and it's not just in corn. It can be in any any crop. Uh, when when the crop is undergoing water stress, the plant <clears throat> expends energy and defensive responses happen. So in corn, the leaves will roll up nice and tight, um, and growth slows or stops, which is not good. We don't want that. So having your crop too dry can be very detrimental for you. Um, what if your crop is too wet? Uh, that can also be very detrimental. You can create an anaerobic soil condition. Uh, you can have leaching of valuable nutrients, which will lead to a bushel loss as well as a dollar loss as well. Um, and it can be just as detrimental as underwatering. Also, added irrigation costs. Um, that's not good. So at the base of what we do at CropX Crop Metrics is really help growers uh, not guess. We use data to help us understand when to irrigate, and when not to irrigate. Um, basically keeping that plant in the optimal soil moisture range throughout the entire growing season. So you may say, well, that makes sense, right? Um, but is it profitable? Does, does it really help me on my farm? Uh, does that help my bottom line? And every year we do many of these head-to-head -head challenges um, and the results are, are pretty much the same. So I wanna give you an example here of, of one I did a couple years ago where we actually split this field uh, north versus south. And you can see the soil type map there where the grower managed the north half and we managed the south half. Um, and here's the yield map at the end of the year. And the yield map doesn't really tell the full story until I get into the numbers, but you can see that there was a, um, the sand issue showed up on the yield map and it matches with the soil type map really well there that the sandier area didn't perform as well as we wanted it to. Um, but some of the other areas performed well. So again, you know, the grower managed that northern half and we managed the southern half. Um, and here's the as applied water map at the end of the year. So not only were we able to reduce the amount of water that grower put on by about 28%, we actually increased that poorer half of the field, uh, which was the southern half, up to the same production level as the better producing uh, ground as well. So, uh, you know, lowering. 20, using 28% less water and having the same exact yield as the best part of the field, um, that's a win. And after doing all the math, we were about $14 per acre more profitable after paying for the technology in year one. So, um, you know, it's an efficiency tool and it's a money maker um, all in one. So what's actually included when you want to get involved with CropX through Cadman Power? Well, uh, we've got a soil moisture sensor that Cadman can go out and deploy right in your field. Uh, they're also going to give you some agronomic support behind that as well. You're going to see your soil water status. <clears throat> You're also going to see where your roots are, how deep are your roots. We're going to give you some weather and satellite imagery as well. They'll have access to variable rate irrigation um, and text notifications to alert you if your field's getting dry or if your field just received a rain and you're full and you don't need to irrigate. So um, like I said, all of this um, really results into roughly about a 5 to 20% yield increase, um, as well as a 10 to 30% irrigation cost savings. So um, if, you're, if you want to take action today, uh, make sure to call Cadman Power. Uh, they know how to get a hold of me. I'll be glad to answer any, any questions you have or do some one-on-one -on -one online consultation. And hopefully I can get up there uh, as soon as the border is open. So thanks again. Stay safe. Keep those rows straight.